Greetings from Canadian Legacy Builder. Today is my final charity shout out. For those of you who have been following, back in September I wrote an article titled Why I Choose Not to Support the United Way. The reasons are many, but one of the biggest ones is their blackout period where they basically tell the people who are to receive United Way funding that if you want to receive money from us, you are not allowed to promote yourself during our campaign. I feel that very undemocratic, so what I decided to do is every day highlight one of the organizations that does receive money from the United Way and promote them at a time when they're not allowed to promote themselves. It was a really interesting process. I got to see a lot of great charities, um, learned a lot about even the ones that I already knew about it at, on the surface, and at the same time got to see and understand the financial statements available on Revenue Canada's website. Today's charity, the final one, is Hospice Wellington. I left it for the end because it is a very special charity for me and for my family. You see, in 2008, Dad was diagnosed with cancer. He beat it the first time, but then in 2009, on my birthday, he was given the final sentence, where he was told, best case, the next Christmas, worst case, the upcoming Easter. Six weeks later, Dad had a fall at home, and my sister and I got him into a hospice facility in Ottawa, where we as a family were able to experience the dying process in a very comfortable, relaxed, and serene environment. I learned at that time that hospice facilities do not cure, but they heal. I have many great memories of that time spent at Dad's bedside. Most of them involved being there with my son, Calvin. He was the life of the party. So much energy, unbridled enthusiasm. The nurses loved him. The patients loved him. He brought a smile to everyone around. And unlimited ice cream. I've never seen one person eat so much ice cream in such a short period of time. The nurses would always take Calvin to go get ice cream from the freezer. And there's a couple of times where Dad and Calvin would be sitting eating ice cream on the bed. There's even one time, actually, where they both had ice cream headaches at the same time. It wasn't funny to them, hysterical to everyone else in the room. And one of the most magical moments occurred again on Dad's room, where Calvin was sitting on the bed right beside Dad, and they just both started singing you are my sunshine. Unscripted, unplanned, magical. Hospitals are great. They have their place in society. But when it comes to those final days, those final weeks, if you know someone that is in that process, the gift of dying, and that's really what it is, Please encourage the family to check out a hospice facility. It brings dignity to the person who's leaving this world, and it brings comfort to the people who are left behind. And in your donations, please remember your local hospices so that they will be there in greatness and grandeur when you might need it yourself.